The Turner Fairbank Highway Research Center is the research arm of the Federal Highway Administration, located in McLean, Virginia. One of its laboratories, the Non-Destructive Evaluation, or NDE Center, conducts research and development on advanced sensing technologies and on testing and evaluation techniques to assess the condition of highway infrastructure assets such as bridges, pavements, and tunnels without impairing their future use. As our transportation infrastructure continues to age, accurately identifying areas that require maintenance and repair is critical. The research conducted by the NDE Lab provides solutions to these problems. Like medical x-rays, MRIs, and ultrasound tests, the non-destructive testing of highway infrastructure can be non-invasive and have the ability to assess the condition of their materials and components without disassembly or inflicting damage. Today, biannual routine inspection is mainly based on visual inspection and manual sounding techniques. However, over the last decade, advancements in sensing and non-destructive techniques has impacted highway industry. Infrastructure owners are gaining more confidence in the added value of using NDE technologies and are having better understanding of their limitations, which can be credited to the close collaboration and cooperation among owners, researchers, technology providers, and policymakers. The NDE Lab is equipped with the state-of-the-art NDE technologies for both concrete and steel structures. For example, ground-penetrating radar, impact echo, surface wave testing, electrical resistivity, and infrared thermography are all used to inspect concrete structures. The NDE Lab also does research on technologies that can be applied to evaluate steel structures using conventional ultrasonic equipment, phased array ultrasonic equipment, and full matrix capture ultrasonic equipment. The lab also performs finite element modeling and other numerical simulations to better understand the NDE measurements and to optimize the NDE tools in use. The NDE lab has an extensive collection of concrete and steel specimens salvaged from in-service highway structures. For example, two pre-stressed girders from a bridge on Maryland State Route 90 a 30-foot length of bridge deck from Haymarket, Virginia, and a number of sections of the Arlington Memorial Bridge Deck. These samples provide researchers with real-world, full-scale test specimens. Our focus in the FSWA and DE Lab is twofold. Our first focus is conducting research to improve the state of practice of NDE technologies to make them automated and more reliable. One of the developed tools at the NDE Lab is a magnetic rover to quantify the extent of corrosion in concrete pre-stressed girders. The system consists of two strong permanent magnets and 64 sensors that measure magnetic field variations. The information gathered can then be used by owners to make risk-based decisions regarding their infrastructure assets. NDE Lab researchers also developed a robotic non-contact acoustic system with ultrasonic speakers and MEMS microphones for high-speed evaluation of bridge decks, which reduces traffic delays and increases safety when collecting data. Our second focus is to fuse data from multiple NDE modalities to improve data reliability to investigate effective visualization approaches for more intuitive data interpretation and also extraction of actionable information from the collected data. Investigating effective visualization approaches such as augmented reality to superimpose the NDE measurements on an image of the physical structure help provide more intuitive data interpretation for asset owners. 
The NDE Lab is also exploring new data analysis approaches, such as artificial intelligence algorithms. The goal is to automatically identify patterns and relationships implicit within the data, then leverage these patterns to automate predictions of the future condition of pavements and structural components. The NDE program is developing tools to assist bridge and highway owners, researchers, and industry to better understand the operation and physical principles of NDE methods. One of these tools is the NDE Web Manual that provides users with unbiased, comprehensive information about different NDE technologies for bridges, pavements, and tunnels. It also assists state DOTs with proper selection of NDE technologies based on their specific problem and application. A recent addition to the NDE Web Manual is an interactive virtual NDE Lab environment that allows users to explore various technologies through interactive data and simulation portals. It also offers realistic case studies that expose users to decision scenarios related to the design and deployment of various structural health monitoring systems. Although current NDE tools and technologies are useful and promising at locating and detecting potential defects in transportation infrastructure components, their use often requires lane closures to collect data in the field, thus increasing work zone safety concerns and traffic delays. The next generation of NDE tools will employ and fuse multiple technologies to collect bridge structure condition data at traffic speed via remote sensing and non-contact equipment, unmanned aerial systems, and other autonomous and remote operated technologies that can communicate data in real time. All these tools would talk to each other using advanced IT technologies data would be instantaneously analyzed, fused, visualized, and transmitted for quick interpretation by bridge engineers, so decisions regarding health of individual bridge elements or the overall structure can be expedited. For instance, in the future, UASs can be deployed first to perform a quick scan of the entire infrastructure. UASs are equipped with infrared thermography cameras to produce images of the surface temperature distribution over a large area. The thermal images can reveal subsurface damage in the concrete that manifests as temperature variation at the surface of the concrete. Data captured by UASs will be transmitted to the data center and analyzed in real time. Once a delamination is detected, it is noted by an alarm. After review by the owner, the results could then be communicated to the van, climber robot, and the crawler robot, so they start collecting detailed NDE measurements. The van would be equipped with advanced traffic speed NDE technologies. The subsurface damage typical in reinforced concrete bridge decks is commonly known as delamination. The delamination is produced by the expansion of corroded reinforcing steel in the concrete. The crawler robot, which is a magnetic-based NDE tool, would inspect cables to detect any corrosion or fracture along the cable. Data would then be transmitted and analyzed in real time. The climber robot would also be equipped with advanced NDE technologies to evaluate the condition of piers. Data captured by different NDE tools would be analyzed in real time and fused together to provide more reliable and in-depth information to the bridge owners. Once the defect is detected, the alarm would go on and information would be sent to the data center. After confirmation by the owner, the results could then be communicated to the repair robot so it can go to those locations that need repair and complete the repair. For example, inject epoxy or grout. As the technologies for highway infrastructure mature and our knowledge of data analysis and extraction of actionable information advances, the owners will be more eager to utilize NDE technologies as part of their routine inspection and asset management. So the technology of the future should advance towards systems that are autonomous, resilient to any environmental condition, reliable and cost effective and it should provide real-time intelligent information to the owners. 
We have made a great leap in the NDE technologies in the last two decades, and I'm certain that within the next few years, we will be able to deliver standardized NDE technologies that would help our infrastructure owners make intelligent decisions about managing their assets.